I had luck. We're back with Andrea, you know, the goddess. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've not been all that before. Um, we're doing nails. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And everything I use today will be listed below. And yeah, we're going to crack on. We're going to do some aqua gel nails with a bit of gel polish and all that shebang. So let's get cracking with the knacking. And Adam may have made mojitos. Uh, right, I've got a non alcoholic one, excuse me. You two don't. We don't, so. I offered non alcoholic and they were like, well, where's the fun in that? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, we're getting drunk today. Come on. <laughs> so, with the nails, you're a bit wonky. Yeah, mm. it's Adam's fault. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it tastes good. Very nice. The non alcoholic one's great as well. Is it, I don't think it's as good as this one. No, I don't think so, no. Yeah, I like, it tastes nice. It does taste nice. I like it. it. I like 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 it a lot. I like it a lot. Good <laughs> shit. It's good. I don't normally drink with you I'm not about porn star girl. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> really? That's porn a star. whole different video. Yeah. Martini thing. Porn star martini. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do love my hero. Yeah. I'm a guy. Vanessa likes me here too. And the only thing with me too is all the... Yeah, the I haven't got any straws here yet. <laughs> I haven't thought about that. Yeah. I'm trying to think what we could use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, from... A brush. A brush. There you are, look at that. There you are. a treat. <laughs> <laughs> So when you get your brushes in the containers, just <laughs> pop them off. And use them as straws. Do you want one? You left, <laughs> you left. nearly all gone. Yours is nearly all gone. But they will get the last bits out, won't you, with yeah. the with the straw? God, look at I me. Mean, how, how much? How much foliage? <laughs> it's a lot of foliage going on there, Adam. It's one of your five a day. If you eat. It. If you eat it, so yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Yeah, I'm not eating it. <laughs> Right, okay, we're going to sculpt these out. Andrew wants another one. This is a bad idea. Oh dear. That is a bloody great idea. That is a fantastic idea. Oh dear. And Set. Nah. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> oh, Andrea had an accident with this this one. She did. I was just going to ignore that. I was cleaning in it the granite. You were cleaning it in an aggressive manner. Yeah. And hit the granite. Hit the granite like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know what? It really is. And they were hanging on for dear life, weren't they? In yeah. Area, because it's that they neglected people because I've been off with a bad shoulder yeah. slash neck. Slash arm, yeah. C five bulging disc, yeah. um, yeah. So sorry about that. It's okay. I think it teaches you that you should not, and under no circumstances, be cleaning your house yourself. No. <laughs> well, my cleaner didn't come. Oh, sack her. Maybe not. No. Don't sack her. Just yeah. No, no. Don't get, get carried you away. Need, you yeah. need a cleaner. Right. So we're going to sculpt these. Um, now, the next process for this is you can fit the form, you can do the base coat, or you can do the base coat first. I know I'm not going to really touch these, so I am going to do the base coat first. And we'll make sure that I do these all in the right order because somebody that I'm a hint <laughs> Um I'll keep you right. You keep me right. I'm going to rub a dub dub the base coat into the nail. So you want like minimal, hardly any on your brush and you're going to rub it in. What you need to think to yourself is this base coat, when you're doing um, an acro gel. <laughs> Sorry. When you're doing an acro gel set of nails, you need to put base coat on. Treat this as your primer. So we've wiped over with clean up solution. And just double check this off then. <laughs> um, 
and we're rubbing it in to the natural nail. Now, if you ever have a nail that's broken quite low like that, sculpting is definitely the way forward for that. It's far easier than trying to put a tip on it. So very, very thin with your base coat so you can see the texture of the nail underneath that base coat. I've been around 30 seconds, thank you very much, fish flash flash, slippy slippy. <laughs> oh. I was out in the garden yesterday for all of probably one and a half minutes. Yeah. Um, I took the cats out because obviously my cats are indoor cats, well two of them are, two of, one of them isn't. Um, took them out because they were meow, 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 meow. As soon as they see sunlight, they're like, oh, it's warm outside. Mummy yeah. will let me go out. So I took them out. And then I was like, what the hell? There was, they were definitely not bees. I think they were wasps. Oh, yeah. They were wasps. And I was like, I was on the phone to Kaylee. Kaylee was laughing her head off because I'm going, oh, 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 like, oh, oh, and she's going, what's going on? And I was like, wasps, there's wasps, there's wasps. I hate wasps. And I'm going, come on, we're going in now. We've had enough. We're going in. <laughs> You'll get stung. Because they start chasing them. Yeah. Because they were hovering on the grass. How were they? And yeah. I was like, they're not hover flies. Them, 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 them are wasps. wasps. Don't like wasps. wasps. Yeah. Vindictive little puppies. They yeah, are, aren't they? Yeah. Manipulative. Yeah. Coercive. Yeah. Yeah. Wasps. Yeah. Wasps. And they know they're annoying you. And they no, don't care. They, they don't. do it all the more. Oh, I know something about that. <laughs> <laughs> So, our sculpting forms come with a perforation line here, so you can do shorter nails or you can do extreme nails. They aren't multi purpose. So, we're going to fit these to Andrea's nails. What you want to do is make sure that the form sits no wider than the natural nail. So, if you've got little tiny fingers like Andrea, we might have to do a little bit of trimmage. If not, you'll probably do it away with. Not trimming it. Let me just have a look at this one. Actually, this one's not too bad. So as long as it sits as narrow as the natural nail, that's absolutely fine. If it pushes out, then you can literally cut the triangle off. And that's how you adjust it for your clients. I'm going to do the four fingers first and then I will do the thumb. Let's have a look at this bad boy though. So this is a problematic nail. Mm. Um, so let's give you guys a helping hand with this. So obviously the bassoons we go next to that, you can see how it's touching all the skin here and it's going to push the form a lot wider. So I'm going to trim here, from here, so I've looped at the lines and I can cut that little triangle off. So the same on this one. Tiny bit more. much better so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with clear as day i've got clear as day in my easy squeezy and we are coming to the last life of it but look how it squirrels all the product out of that i'm surprised i didn't get any more yeah <laughs> So we're going to put a pea size on each one. Sorry. 
I'm definitely drinking the grass. <laughs> I'm drinking the grass. <laughs> it's not grass. What is it? Mint leaf. <laughs> it looks like grass. It's like you've oh, been okay. out and you've just grabbed a load of grass. I remember when I first came here, Damien gave me a... Um, guided tour? Guided tour. Did he yeah. really? Of, of the, the strawberry patch. Oh yeah. He loved the strawberry Where's patch. Where's the strawberry yeah. patch? Well, it's not there anymore. It's not so. there anymore. It's oh. Not. But he was, he, he was like... He's proud. He, he was so proud. Of I know, he loves anything like that. He'll <laughs> say to me, come look at this, come look. And I'm like, where is it? Come look. And I'm like... <laughs> Really, yeah. Sarah. It, it was very cute. Yeah. And he, he was trying to find a strawberry that he could pick, but there was yeah. none. <laughs> right. Even though it was like June, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was June when we first came. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think we're going to be ready for Wimbledon. Then. <laughs> no. No, definitely not. Oh, he loves it, especially when we're in Italy because. Um, we've got all sorts. We've got medlar and all sorts over there. Medlar, I don't What's know. What's Medlar? They're a bit like a... A bit like a peachy apricot. An apricot? An apricot? Who's had a drink? <laughs> I was. Oh. Um, An apricot thing. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Yeah, and things like that. And he loves it. He's like, oh, come on, look at these and figs. You know. Grow the figs and everything. And um, what else have we got? Plums, I think. All sorts. That you can't obviously grow here because the weather's shit. Yeah. We can grow them in Italy. So yeah. It grows it all these, it, yeah. all yeah. the, the shiz yeah, yeah. over there. Yeah. And Luigi looks after it when he's not there. I would get lost. Yeah, he does. Luigi. Luigi, yeah, yeah. Actual Luigi. Actual Luigi. Actual yeah. Luigi from, yeah. Yeah. from Mario Brothers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actual Luigi. Yeah. Actual Luigi. Yeah. I can't believe your name is called Luigi. Yeah. That tastes. Does he look like Luigi? No. No, not got, yeah. not got the stash. No. <laughs> the other name is Guido. What? Guido. Guido? Yeah. Is he a bit of a weirdo, Guido? No, Guido has got grows very big melons. <laughs> oh, he does, does he? Yes, very, very big melons. Oh, right. Yeah. So he's a melon, melon grower? He grows everything as well. Right. That's the thing in this country, so it's, it's hard here. You can yeah. grow though, do you know what I mean? Well, it's harder, isn't it? It is hard here. Yeah. It depends where you live. Yeah. I'm guessing it's in, you're not in the city, are you? No. So if you're in the city in Italy, you can't really grow anything. No. You're getting the lot of them, Kirsty. My dad used to have an art. Did he? Yeah. So I tried to get the kids involved, and they did do a bit for like, not for a bit. But then they grew up and realised it was boring. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And he's just having free labour. Yeah. 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 So they were like, no granddads. Uh, we're not impressed with growing these tomatoes anymore. Yeah. And I don't like tomatoes anyway, granddad, so we can wait yeah. where the strawberries are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not new. the park hog. Park hog. Park Just the car park. Have you never said that? Don't tell me you've never said that. Get lost, no, out you. You never said that. It must you be never hormones. Yeah. Female hormones. Oh, yeah. It's Mess your head on the park arc. The park arc. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, God. Right, anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Right. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to mix this time some pink glimmer with busy wizzy. Busy wizzy. Let's get busy. Um, yes, I think it's going to be. Give in my hat, I've never done this before. Not these colours anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, God, it go wrong. It'll be amazing. It's going to be amazing. You can do it in a pot if you want to and you can save it, but I'm just going to do as much as I need. I'm purely guessing how many peas have we got here because we need pea sizes for five nails. So I reckon maybe four peas. Four peas. Five peas because there's five, five things. Well, uh, four fingers in a thumb. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to have one, two, 
two swipes or rolls of these busy wizzy. Busy. And now we're going to mix these together. So push it into each other. Right, so what I need you to be careful about is bubbles. So if you kind of if you're folding it like high, you're gonna get air into it. But if you do it flat, you will make sure you get rid of the bubbles. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Should we do slightly more alelic? So we're still gonna have the shimmer from the glimmer colour but we're going to change it slightly and it's going to be more lilac and by pulling it flat like this you're going to get rid of the bubbles so I think it needs a little bit more don't you that'll do I don't want to add too much of the gel polish because it will interfere with the strength of the um, aqua gel. Right, if it gets too runny then you definitely add, you've added too much gel polish. Yeah, because you've still got to be able to build a little bit, haven't you? Yeah. That's, that, that's nice. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Just, just one second. Just a smidge more. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a nice colour that is. Oh, I like it. I'm going to create a smile line using the Mr. Buttons brush. My brush is dampened with clean up solution to prevent the product from sticking to the aqua gel Pop it in the lamp. Oh. Did I make it look so wrong? Did it 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 I will. Yeah. I know. So Damien will be here later. Damien will be here saying, Adam, you've been getting my wife's best. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we're going to do this on all of the nails. Well, they're all having a smile eye. They're all having a smile eye. Mm -hmm. So when I'm looking at this, I'm going to be looking what number I've gone to. That's going to give me a good guide. If you have cut the smile line of the form, that will move the form back. So if you've had to do that, then bear that in mind because the length will be different. But we haven't had to do that today. Cut that in. So we're going to wipe over with clean up solution take off the sticky layer because we are going to file around those smile lines it's going to make them nice and crisp 
think I'm sober in lockdown. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to wipe over these. I'm going to take the forms off. I'm going to give them a file. So this is very thin, so we do need to be careful with it. But I want to file over it, so my gel polish has something to stick to, even more so. Right, so clean them up with clean up solution and then we're going to go on with the colour straight onto it because it's so porous it's okay to go straight on with the gel polish and we're going to use Ibiza! Ibiza! Little, little Ibiza! Back to the island! <laughs> and we'll do a couple of coats of this on each nail the colour combo is everything. That camera is not showing it as bright as it is. Not on my, oh, not on my screen anyway. Oh yeah, look at the overhead. Right, yes, that's the colour it is. Right, I'm going to pick up a little bit of gel. This is the Cassidy one stroke just to make sure I'm right up those corners. Just pop me your thumb in just because it's, you can pop the whole thing in if you want. Is it proper neon yeah, in there? Yeah, Is it like neon. high biz? Yeah. Yeah. It is. So we're going to do this on all of the nails. Oh, well, you just answered the question I was about to ask there. I was going to say, is it best to cure it in between each one? We you went straight on to the next one. No, I mean, what? because I've done the thumb like that, because the thumb sits at a different position, and I kind of want to make sure that that is fully cured, and nothing's moving anywhere, whereas these are not going to be... Oh, like that. Put them in. So on my Brendette brush, I've forced a little bit of the base coat through it. So I can pick up some glitter. This is from Glitterama, which are renaming themselves E.L. Nails. E.L. Nails. Yeah. So it's a spring to life glitter. You think it's because there's other glitter content out there? Um, no, I think it's because there's, it's a different partnership. 
Oh, right. Um, well, I know it's because it's a different partnership. It's just... I've forgotten it. It's just his now. Now we're about base to cure, so we're going to pop that in. And then we're going to put some clear aqua gel. We're going to put some of that on. But just a little bit. Just a little bit for now. Just a little bit. So this will encapsulate some of the glitter, but it's also going to be an adhesive for the shell that we're going to put in. So we're going to pick little pieces of the shell up and place that into the nail. Pop me them in. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And then we're going to cap it all in clear as day aqua gel. It's going to give you strength and it's also going to protect all the nail off. Oh, I've well and truly sobered up now. <laughs> Are you bored now? <laughs> bored now. And I've got fire. Oh, that's way too much better. Right, let's wipe over. Oh, they look lovely, Andrea. And you do. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. Can't be our style then. Yeah. <laughs> see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Have a good holiday. <laughs> They'll take cool. We don't do that. Yeah. I'd be do you remember the, do you remember the ones, the style of ones you did on Oh, oh my yeah. god, yeah. 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 They were heavy. Yeah. They were very heavy. They you were, they were amazing. I just couldn't imagine what, what that they were, no, and what they were gonna look like. Yeah. They were incredible, weren't they? They were stunning. So I'm just going to wipe over with some clean up solution and then we're going to bling them out. Of course, bit of bling. Bit of bling. We've got some neon Swarovskis. Oh, perfect colour. Look <laughs> at neon yellow. Oh, oh my, my God. God. I think maybe some of these might go with that, you know, that darker tone one. Don't know, I'll make it up as I go along. Anyway, we went to Discovery Cove, which is like obviously all man made. It's where the dolphins just, um, we're not, I don't swim with the dolphins because I don't like them being trapped, but there's fish and there's all sorts of things. And 
Yeah. People can snorkel and obviously I'm not very good at snorkeling or anything like that, but the kids wanted to go and Danian obviously did, so off they went. And I'm just mooching about by myself. Yeah. Look at the little Nemo's in the ponds and Yeah. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna have to go with this snorkel. So I went to got myself the snorkel. Yeah. And I got myself a life vest. Yeah. So I thought, right, I saw this pool, I'm gonna go in there, stingray pool. What, you can just go in? Yeah, you can go in. Well, got me flippers. <laughs> yeah. Went in this den, but it's not very deep in here. So I'm going along, my big bum in the air. <laughs> trying sort of, I don't even know what I was trying to do. We're just giving it a go, like. just giving it a go. Yeah, giving it a go. I've been yeah. in there a few minutes, next thing somebody tapping me on my shoulder. Excuse me, ma'am, you can't come in here. This is the nursery, ah. where the babies are. <laughs> oh, I hadn't even gone in a proper pool. <laughs> oh my God. As if it was that easy that you could just go in and just yeah. like, oh, just, I but, bet they were like, <laughs> what are you doing? I bet they were like, oh my God, look at this big stupid woman. So you got security in yeah. a scuba kit coming to get you out? Yeah. And it, <laughs> Oh, I'm <laughs> oh, I'm surprised they didn't escort you off the building. So I went back to looking at me little Nemo's in it. Yeah, in you thought we'd best door. do that. <laughs> I was so embarrassed at 45. What did David say? <laughs> David, I had to tell him later. Because he'd gone off, hadn't You're like, we need to go. We need... <laughs> Just went to me. I'll tell you the men. <laughs> yeah. We need to go before I get escorted <laughs> out. Just <laughs> tell you. You could see me, so I just found a little corner and sat under an umbrella. So where did they go snorkeling? <laughs> because it was like big... Was sco were they doing scuba or snorkeling? No, they were snorkeling. There was like big... There was all different pools and each pool had got different things in. Yeah. Well, of course, I picked one that was... Well, do you know what? Know? You know my... The, the fountain here? Yeah. It was only as big as that, really. And ah! I was sitting round in that and we snorkel stuff. <laughs> On my hands and knees, I'd be facing. Really daring. Yeah, my life jacket. Oh, what do you call life jacket? But it's up to your knees. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh dear. Yeah. So it's not for you, is it? It's Andrew? no, no. It's not for me. It's definitely not for me. Now snorkeling, fine, I could do that, but the whole like scuba thing, yeah, I've done it. No fan. <laughs> no. I just think, you know, I just think, what a faff. Oh, it's a faff. What a faff. That's why I don't like skiing. I tell you what, it was no good for me, eh? Oh. Rhea, she was telling me off. When I come back, she says, you told me you weren't going to get your hair in the salt water. Yeah. I said, well, I didn't, like, I wasn't, didn't go to the beach that often. She was like, you went, sco you went, to, you went scuba diving, and I was like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to top coat these with glossy, and then you'll be able to see the shimmer in the lilac, and also the shells and the glitter. Just flash me that in the Come on. Finish off with some cuticle oil. Rub it up, dub. All in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> What's that off? I think you're just making it up. No, it it's up and up. It's up and up, it. Is it the advert with the the bubble, the bubble stuff that looks like a sailor? Maybe. 
Make yeah. bubbles. Bubble dub double and tub. Is that all that? I'm not making it up. If we find the advert, And we definitely we'll had we'll yeah. we definitely had a goat. I'm not making it up and we definitely had a goat. A goat? We had what? a goat. They had a goat? Not told you the story about the goat. No. Before we go, I'll tell you the story about the goat. I swear I've told this story on here. So I said, I threw my mum's nails and I said to her, why did we have a goat? And she said, we never had a goat. Uh. And I was like, we did, we had a goat, we had a goat. And it, um, so it, as far as I knew, so it could cut the grass. And she was like, we never had a goat. <laughs> and I was like, well, why can I remember us having a goat? So after lots of phoning around, going from my brother to me, um, cousin Joe, we figured out, my brother said, you need to ask Spencer. <laughs> and so we phoned Spencer, my cousin, and he says, Joe phoned him, speaks to him. She rings me back and she says, so, you didn't have a goat. Well, you did, but it wasn't yours. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... Spencer and Nick the goat. So basically, she said, me and Spencer were bunking off school like we used to to save animals, because that was what we did. Um, and we found a pigeon in the street. We'd be nursing the pigeon. And sorry, Mum, we couldn't go to school because yeah. we were saving the animals. Yeah. Um, so it could be, they could be newts. We were saving the newts, yeah. or, yeah. you know what I mean? So anyway, this, this goat was in the field next door because I lived all by our fields. And so we get this goat through the fence in and lets the goat in the garden because we got like loads of grass that needed yeah. cutting. Mm -hmm. And we, and we, Spencer said, we made up the reason. So the reason we were, we basically, um, what's the word? Kidnapped. You were a little shit. We, yeah. <laughs> we, um, our validation for doing uh, it yeah. was, because he was cutting the grass. Ah, so yeah. that was the reason if we got yeah. caught. So I, so I knew there was a memory of us having a goat. Yeah. But I'd kind of forgot all the why all, all the, the other bit, all the naughty stuff. Yeah. We did give the goat back. You did. Yeah. yeah. So if you had a goat in Pat Moore that went missing for a bit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did a cracking job of cutting the grass though. Oh, I remember that. Know. I told mum and dad got back from work. <laughs> <laughs> Take the goat back. Yeah, so we did used to do some random things like that when... But you just remember that that you always had I just remember, no, I don't, we, didn't, we didn't have it for a long... I remember not having the goat for a long time, but I thought yeah. we might have had it for a week. Yeah. Yeah? But you'd just stolen it. we just stolen it for the day. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Don't steal goats, because <laughs> you'll get in trouble, you know, 30 years later. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Everything I've used today will be listed below. And if you recreate this design, please tag us. I want to see your recreations. I'll see you in the next one. We're saying the mojitos taste nice and mixy. Hello. 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 Does it give a fuck? No. no. <laughs> Adam, what's the difference between the tuna and the Swedish? What's the difference? I'm just a Swedish girl. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? I think the same thing, really. Oh, tell us in the comments, because I've got no idea. No, I don't know.